So we've discussed God and who God is. We covered the angels and demons. We've even discussed the Blessed Trinity. Now it's time we discuss humanity. Humans are creatures composed of body and soul and made in the image and likeness of God. The likeness of the Blessed Trinity is found chiefly in the soul of humans. But there's a resemblance in the body too. However, not in a single body alone. We see a mirror of the Blessed Trinity in husband and wife when they come together in the sacrament of holy matrimony. Chiefly though, we see the image and likeness of God in the soul of human persons. In the book of Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, we read about our first parents, Adam and Eve. Now, while Adam and Eve didn't actually exist, the story of their creation and existence explains the problem of original sin. Whoever our first parents may have been, and whatever organisms they came from, they had the same choice as the angels, to follow God and live in his love forever, or to not follow God. Our first parents were tempted by a fallen angel to turn away from God, and they gave in to that temptation. The punishment that our first parents received, and has been passed down to the rest of humanity, is what we call original sin. Now luckily, we have a God who loves us so much that he wanted to save us from this original sin. But we'll get more into that in a future video. This is a good opportunity for us to talk about Mary, our Blessed Mother. Because she is the only real human person, since our first parents, whoever they may be, who was preserved from original sin. Mary was preserved from original sin in view of the merits of her divine Son, Jesus Christ. And this privilege is called her Immaculate Conception. While our first parents made the choice to break away from God, Mary never made that choice. Her whole life was focused on God and His will for her. She freely gave herself over to God, and she's the model of how we should live our lives. She shows us the way to her Son, and ultimately, to the Father in Heaven. And so let's look to Mary as a model human being. She's, as we say, our nature's, our human nature's solitary boast. And with her help, we will gain those eternal rewards in the kingdom of heaven.